From feature films to fairy tales, wolves haven't got the best reputation. And they're not too popular with farmers in some parts of the US either. For years, the wolves were hunted and killed, but now they're protected. Kirsty checked out why that's got some farmers pretty angry. And Granny, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with, my dear, cried the wolf. And he gobbled her right up. Wolves get a pretty bad rap. They're either a scary superhero like Wolverine... ..or play an evil character in the movies. In Australia, this is the closest we get to seeing wolves. But over in the US and Canada, these animals have roamed wild for a long time. This is one place wolves can call home. It's the Wild West in America, a state called Idaho. Thousands of grey wolves used to hang around here, but by the 1930s, most of them were killed by hunters. Almost 70 years later, packs of wolves from Canada were brought back to the area to rebuild their population. Now, around 1,600 wolves live here and in two of the neighbouring states. They can't be hunted either because they're a protected species. But that doesn't please some of the locals who don't think they belong. Ron's family has lived in this range for more than 100 years. His feeling towards wolves is pretty obvious. He doesn't like them. What are these wolves going to eat? We're in a wildlife disaster right now. They're killing everything. What are they going to do? Eat our livestock and then start eating humans? Ron should be out hunting wolves by now, but the US federal court has put the animals back on the protected list, so they can't be touched for the time being. It's a frustrating situation for farmers like Luke. He's had to lock up his dogs and cattle behind huge fences to protect them. We spend a lot of nights and days worrying about how many livestock is actually getting killed by them. I'm here. It'll put a lot of ranchers out of business, which is hard on the whole economic deal. I ain't gonna lie, they are amazing critters. But the only problem is, is the country ain't big enough to have them anymore. So for some, wolves are public enemy number one. But for others, they're great mates. Come here, give mommy a kiss. Give mommy a kiss. Good boy. Nancy has been breeding wolves in captivity for about 17 years and she reckons their bad reputation is unfair. They make him out to be a monster, a snarling, uh, evil uh, creature, which he isn't. Here, wolves look pretty similar to your pet dog and they're not really much different. Many scientists reckon that domestic dogs evolved from wolves over tens of thousands of years as humans started to use dogs and breed them for their own use. So if that's the case, all dogs, including this little furball, are pretty close relatives. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, before white people moved in, Idaho was also home to the Nez Perce Indians, who feel a strong connection to the wolf. Tribal leaders are joining the battle to protect the animal. This bloke reckons you can't sacrifice a species just because it's convenient. So, for the time being, it sounds like the wolves will be a bit safer than they have been in any fairy tale. The little pig lifted off the lid of the pot and the wolf tumbled right into it.